learn the new. Reach deep in your surprise bag. There might be a gift for you. Honey, my surprise bag is so full, I can hardly pick it up. I mean, the guy out there who patted me down, he, he, he gave me his number on a coupon for half off on a milkshake. I seriously don't think I can take any more surprises. Lighten up, Dad. These are your kind of people. Real. <sighs> Salt of the earth. Oh, yeah? Where are they from? Where are we from? Father you should have. July 31st, 1715. The great Spanish warship Pico de Gallo, commanded by my great and nautical ancestor, Sir General Rondono Ventana Lenguana dos Jose Cuervo. <laughs> Leaves Madrid, bound for the new world. Four weeks later, he is still in Madrid, as Madrid is 400 miles away from the nearest ocean. But a stubborn man, he set sails anyway, only to sink six weeks later off the southern coast of Florida. A hostile land infested by rattlesnakes. <laughs> Mosquitoes, oh, get the keep to the live! <laughs> and many retired Jewish people. <laughs> but enough about us. You must be Mr. Malcolm Beinecke. And you must be the lovely Mrs. Malcolm Beinecke. And you must be Lucas. Unless you are the father. And you are the son with a massive thyroid problem. <laughs> I go too far. But tonight, she is young. Welcome to our extremely normal home. Gomez Florencia Adams, at your service. Now allow me to introduce my wife, Ladwenia, mother of my children. And more, de mi vida, love of my life, Morticia! Sorry I'm late. I was putting an apple pie on the windowsill to cool. That's my woman. <laughs> a duchess in the parlor, a genius in the kitchen, and a gymnast in the bedroom. Oh, Gomez. <laughs> Why'd you do that for? Mr. Mr. Beinecke, I presume. Mrs. Adams. And Mrs. Beinecke. Alice. Alice. And you must be Lucas. What a lovely name. Hey, thanks. You know, I'm named after my uncle who got lost in the woods and had to eat his own leg to survive. <laughs> you think they need to know that? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a lovely story. Wednesday has a cousin who swallowed his own tongue. He talked like this. Oh, hello, how are you? Thank you, <laughs> Mother. Oh, hi. I'm Wednesday. What are you wearing? A dress? A yellow dress. Paloma, what happened? You look like a crime scene. <laughs> Will you excuse us for a moment? I won't have that color in my house. I'm just trying to be normal, okay? We don't wear bright colors, darling. Bright colors are for those with no inner life and no imagination. Oh, look, it's everywhere. It's a lovely dress, Wednesday. Yellow is the color of the warming sun. Yellow is the color of yumminess and fun. Why not show the world the love in which we all believe? Why not wear your heart for all to see right on your sleeve? Yellow is- Excellent, a lovely sentiment about the color yellow. And now, <gasps> Look, everyone! It's Bugsley Adams, Wednesday's little brother. Just came back from Bible study. Say hello, Bugle. Hello! Wanna make a donation? Of course, sweetheart. What are you collecting for? To put the money in the kid and don't get hurt. Well, we! Boy, is it normal out there! In this 
This is our grandma, the very heart and soul of the family. Hi, I just came from the hospital. Cardiac ward. Boys are dropping like flies over there. <laughs> I hope you're staying in shape. Grains, fresh fruits, 40 minutes on the treadmill. I know I should, but I don't do any of that. 